five weeks ago, Misty delivered her awesome icebreaker. Almost immediately, she wrote her second speech, but then she heard Freddie Doctrum's majestic presentation, Making Marvelous Mentors, which Freddie gave to Toastmasters in Malaysia. On the spot, Misty shelved her presentation because she was so inspired by Freddie's message. Instead, Misty decided to write a speech about some significant mentors in her life. Sparked by Freddie, please help me welcome Misty to our virtual stage. Are you a who? Misty Dobson. Anyone can show you kindness, give you good advice, or even teach you a powerful lesson. But a true who will make a real impact and will never leave your soul. Now, I don't know her last name, and these two memories are all I've got. But my swim coach, Marg, delivered way more than she knows. One day, Marg decided that I needed to improve my breaststroke kick. Misty, get out of the pool and walk like a duck. Huh? I'm a provincial level backstroker. Over 20 times that day, every time I kicked poorly, she snapped, I got out and I walked like a duck. This training went on for weeks. And two years later, I qualified for nationals in the 100 meter breaststroke. Nationals isn't even the point here. Nationals was what my parents wanted. So after proving I could do it, I quit. The next morning, I bravely walk up to Mark and I said, Coach, this is my last practice. Thank you for everything. Now I was ready for her lecture. How can you throw away nine years of blood, sweat, and tears? This is everything you've worked for. Instead, I'll never forget. She just said, go enjoy your last swim. Next up is Greg. He was my manager at the newspaper job that I'd landed despite not being qualified for. We bonded instantly in my interview after I very very colorfully told him, you are giving me this job. Two months into my career, Greg traveled to Australia for three weeks. <clears throat> I'm suddenly under this crazy pressure from his boss to sell a gloss cover. I have no idea what I'm doing. I was pitching it out like crazy. But my clients we're just not signing up for a 140% price increase. So right before Greg gets back, I spent the whole weekend brainstorming how to sell this thing. And I came up with 10 packages. And then I wrote another 20 pages about why those 10 packages were so amazing. Monday morning, I asked Greg for coffee and I presented him with my beautiful work. He glanced at it. I don't think he read a word. And he just said, okay, go sell it, kid. Over the next two weeks, only three months into my first career, I increased my revenue by $260,000. Thanks, Greg. Now, last but not least is George. And George was a trucker that dined at the restaurant I worked at. But when I lost everything and I had no one, he basically adopted me. For years and years, he supported me. I left my husband with no money, no home, no car. Call George. Now I'd like a co-signer for a nicer car. Call George. I spent too much money at the bar last night and I can't afford rent. Call George. Okay, now I'm trying to get my life together, quit waitressing, and get into a sales career. But now I actually can't afford rent. Good thing I can still call George. I wouldn't have made it without George. Now, I remember a few years ago, 
I took a client out for lunch and we walked into this restaurant and there was George. He was sitting there with another young girl. My heart broke in that instant as I realized we hadn't spoken in months. So feeling abandoned by all over again by a parent, I botched my lunch meeting and just totally fell apart that day. I finally get home that night and I picked up my kids and we get home, I sit down and I take a deep breath and I get this feeling come over me suddenly. I'm okay. And someone else needs George now. So you can see, I've had some very powerful who's. Mark, that morning you knew. You knew I'd forgotten that I loved swimming. And that I needed someone to care more about my happiness than my success. Greg, I had done the work. Oh, oh okay. I, I forgot but again. But I believed in you. And I needed your endorsement to find my power. George, my life's biggest purpose is to be a George to someone. I'm going to love them unconditionally. I will lift them up even when they don't deserve it. And I'm going to believe in them until they believe in themselves. Fellow Toastmasters, I'm the perfect example of how just a few simple words can change someone's life. Or how a dedicated mentorship that includes belief and love can actually save lives. We train every week for this together. Go out there and be a who, Madam Toastmaster.